Well, what do you know about how healthy he actually is? I mean, to see his status kind of ebb and flow before game one, and then, like you said, I mean, to get some contributions from him, what, where do you think he actually is physically? Yeah, the Bucks are really tight-lipped about stuff like that. They're, they're understandably going to play close to the vest. This has, this has always been the case with Giannis. Whenever he's incurred any sort of injury, you're just not going to get a lot out of them, out of Mike Budenholzer, out of Giannis himself. I, I think the proof is just what we saw on tape. He's, he's effective and a factor, and that's certainly more than the Bucs could have hoped for when they saw him go down just one week earlier from game one, one week to the day, uh, an injury that looked like it might cost him the rest of this season, most of next season. I mean, we were all fearing the worst, and it didn't, it didn't turn out that way. That he played in game one is, is amazing, and that he gave you 20 points and 17 rebounds is even, even more amazing. Uh, he, maybe not 100% clearly. I mean, on defense particularly, he might be just a step slower than you might see. But then again, he has that chase down block. I mean, all that, all the signs tell you at the very least he's going to be a factor. And again, that's more than the Bucks could have hoped for. Unfortunately for the Bucks, they probably need him to be even better, to, to you know, some, something close to 100% to hang with this with this Phoenix team, which, which in that case, I think it would be a really even matchup. Um, I still going to hinge a little bit on how healthy he gets. Is he going to be 100% defensively? Because they're going to need everything they've got to stop Booker and Paul. And, and, you know, DeAndre Ayton is the sort of third guy who's picking up picking up whatever Paul and Booker leave on the table for him. So, um, you know, you'll probably need a little bit more from Giannis, but still gave every, much more than the Bucks could have hoped for in game one.